Do you suffer from fractured sky? See us now and we'll get you a sample of our fractured sky cure. <laughs> Might cause dizziness, death, distortion, brain disease, urea. What's that last one? <laughs> it's, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Hello again, Misfits, and it's Anthony with another Under the Lid, and this time we're taking a look at Fractured Sky. Now, uh, this is a game that we we're extremely excited about, and actually, um, you could put a link up in the corner. We, we did have an interview with our buddies over at Ivy Studios, and they told us all about it there. So if you're interested to see like the preview to this point, go right ahead. Otherwise, we have a copy now. So we're gonna unbox this sucker and take a look at it. We were super excited about this game. Um, Ivy Studios, actually, I think they're saying it's their best game yet, which they make great games already so i mean that, that's a, that's a pretty big that's claim a tall that's order. a that's a tall order because i love all of their games so uh, i was excited actually this is a, a game that's just started making the rounds a little bit uh, on some other channels and stuff like that and i was like oh i can't wait to check it out so you're basically controlling an airship and you're going around trying to collect these star falls now um basically it's at the end of the game whoever has the most star falls win sounds pretty simple right and uh the there's two ways to do it basically either completing objectives or controlling the areas on the board so you have a little area control going um and if you control the areas uh that has a star fall on it you get it and it's basically that that's the two ways you can do it now the nice thing about ivy studios which i love is they have a lot of depth to their game, but they're not overly complex. They don't kill you with complexity. They add just enough complexity and strategy to make it deep, but it's not like you're reading like a you know five day long rule book. Even if the rule books sometimes look a little thick, they're really, most of their games are not like super, super complicated. Um, as the rule book, of course, as always, they most of their stuff is extremely like, they Ivy Studios is known for quality. Um, although with this one, they're doing something a little different. So um, like they usually, everything they do is premium. And this one, they're having two different versions. They're having a retail version, which is the copy we have right now. And then they have the deluxe version, which has all the bells and whistles and even like magnetized airships and things like that. So we're kind of drooling over that, but they, we, haven't gotten our, we haven't gotten that yet. And we'll be doing a separate thing for that. Right now, we're just happy to actually have a copy so we can get this thing to the table. Right? Right, Miss Fitzam? Oh, absolutely. I want to play this so badly. Yes, yes. We're gonna we're gonna stop filming and playing play this right now. <laughs> That's why uh, we're doing the unboxing so we're doing the unboxing so now. Yes, it. yes, totally. It is a very selfish thing. Um, so this the rule book looks very looks very much like a rule book, looks good. I can't wait to dig into it, I'll be honest. You got your little you got your little um, uh, roles here. These are your different factions you got. Uh, and on the front they have different names of them, the Paradin. Uh, the Calvari, the Moromino. Um, these are very cool. I love it. So each one's a little bit different. The Ashbane. And if you see, uh, I'll turn some of these around. They got like uh, art on the other sides. These actually look really cool. Ta da! And they show you your different airships because everybody has different airships and the things that convert it. Here's your board uh, right here that uh, I think this is where you put your different uh, Starfall stuff. I didn't read the rules entirely yet. I was just too excited to actually get this box open. Uh, and and your last faction, the Senatoi. Looks very cool. Yeah, As it's always, a five player our, game. It is a five player game too, which I'm excited about. I've been seeing that a lot lately. There's been a lot of guys putting out five player games and kudos to you because yeah, four players is kind of tough a lot of times for people. Five is like usually just right. There's always that one extra person who shows up and you're like, crap, we got five people. We can't play half our library. There's a lot of game makers been doing five five players lately. And I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, Moonrakers is five too. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and not even just Ivy Studios. Other, uh, I've been running across a lot of games that have been five players, five players. I'm like, that's interesting. It's just been popping up more open lately. Maybe they realize that, you know, there's a lot more game players now. We have more friends. We have more friends, yes. Which uh, we actually just went to a little shindig in our local area too. We got to talk to them about it. So if you haven't seen our little um, our little shorts, uh, we actually went to a shindig out locally to play some games, and you could check it out on some of our other shorts. I think did we do a video video prop? I think it was only in shorts. Uh, just some shorts. Just some shorts. We're gonna be talking to some local folks. I'm trying to get a painter on board. It'll be oh, super cool. Boy. But I think I wonder if these minis. So the actually, so <clears throat> the difference with this one and the retail version is I don't. This doesn't have the airship minis. Like the other one has minis. These actually just come in cardboard. So that's the difference between the retail and the the deluxe version. The deluxe version actually has airship minis and stuff. And these this retail does not actually have any minis. Which on one hand, yes, it makes me sad. On the other hand, I'm happy just to have it in my hands. Look well, at that. Well, the gameplay is supposed to be the boss on this one. And there's two sides of the board. Look at that. See? Nice. 
Look yep. at that art. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, I wonder if there's, yeah, there's difference. There's difference on each side. So you have two different sides, either player based or maybe just for, uh, you know, just um, differences in gameplay, perhaps. Maybe amount of players or something? Yeah, I think so. Because this is one, two, three, four, five, and this is one, two, three. So one's a three player board side. Looks like they removed some areas, and this is a five player board side. So yeah, pretty self explanatory. Got lots of baggies, and, and that is it, actually. We just got some cards now. So yeah, this is the difference with the retail. We'll have the Super Collector Edition unboxing when we get our get a hold of it. Um, I think the Collector Edition uh, is like basically just the normal version of it. And then like I said, they produced a cheaper version so that people maybe they don't want to blow, you know, 150 on a game. Or I, I actually, I don't know how much the Collector is going for right now, but maybe they didn't want to spend so much money. They don't have them as much money these days, not surprising. Um, so, you know, they get, get the same gameplay without needing all the fancy bits and bobs, you know? Even if we do like fancy bits and bobs, don't we? I love my bits and bobs. Okay, don't say that ever again. Sorry, I apologize to everybody about that. <laughs> so this looks awesome. I am excited to play this, guys. Thank you, Ivy Studios, again for getting us a copy of this. We'll definitely be doing some gameplay of this and a review very, very soon. And then hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get our hands on a delicious, uh, delicious deluxe version. Ooh, I can't wait. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us for another unboxing. As always, of course, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks again for joining me. It's Mr. Vin Anthony, and uh, game on, guys.